Hi, I'm Dr. Angela Hoshek. I'm an associate professor in the School of Communication Studies, and I'm also the director of the COMS 1030 program that focuses on presentational and public speaking. So today I'd like to chat with you a little bit about the COMS 1030 course, which most of you will take during your freshman year. I recently read this quote that I wanted to share with you by a man named Nick, Nick Morgan. He says, speakers find joy in public speaking when they realize that a speech is all about the audience, not the speaker. Most speakers are so caught up in their own concerns and so driven to cover certain points or get a certain point across that they can't be bothered to think more than in a perfunctory way about the audience. And the irony is, of course, that there is no hope of getting your message across if that's all the energy you put into the audience. So let go and give the moment to the audience. I really love this quote because it really focuses on the way that we have cr created the curriculum for the Comms 1030 program. We really take an audience-centered approach and a learning-centered approach to the course to make sure that you, as a speaker and as a presenter, have a really strong understanding of who your audience is, your purpose in your presentation, and why you are interested in the topic that you're talking about. And then all the choices that you make in the course and in uh, any time you're doing a presentation really focus on knowing your audience and making sure that your message is relevant to them. So in the Comms 1030 course, um, let me tell you a little bit about some of the things that you will be doing and learning. So you will be learning how to give various different kinds of, of presentational speaking. And we really try to focus the course on thinking just beyond public speaking. So you, many of you may not give a public presentation in your life where you stand up in front of a large mass crowd. But all of you will probably be giving some form of a presentation in your careers, whether that's during a meeting, whether that's presenting a report, uh, whether that's... Um you know, even meeting someone new and doing job interviews, those are all many forms of presentations, right? And a lot of us end up spending a lot of time doing impromptu speaking, uh, where we meet people and kind of have to answer questions kind of off the cuff. So in our course, we really want to prepare you for a variety of different types of speaking events. And the other thing that we've realized over the years is that there's only so much you can do in 15 weeks in a course. So we've really focused in on helping you think about an issue that you're passionate about and thread that through the entire semester. So you're really focusing on working working with one larger concept and applying that to various different types of speaking events throughout the semester. So we want you to really have a strong sense of um, presentational and rhetoric theory. So we spend a little bit of time um, making sure that you have a good understanding of that. And um, then we also make sure that you understand principles of effective public speaking, um, like listening, and analytical reasoning, verbal and nonverbal delivery, um, and using research and uh, source support to uh, enhance and um, support your arguments and your ideas. Um, we uh, help you learn how to research, prepare, and deliver various types of informative and persuasive types of speaking. And we also want you to be able to critically analyze the presentations of others, right? Whether that be your classmates in class or that ends up being going to a public event and critiquing that speaker um, in connection to the principles that you're learning in our class. And then we also want you to be thinking about how diversity and inclusion play a role in the process as you're choosing the words that you are um, going to use during your presentations as you're analyzing and thinking about your audience and about the topics that you are presenting on and also understanding how people who are experiencing those issues that you're going to talk about or you're going to hear about um, are impacted by diverse standpoints and diverse people who are experiencing those problems. Um, and so then... Um, you know, we want you to really enhance your confidence all over through the course of the semester too. So, um, in your classes, you are um, you'll be taught by folks that are part of my teaching team. They spend um, a good part of the summer and all year long training with me, and um, so you are in such competent and, and wonderful hands um, with all of our um, members of our teaching team. And we really take an experiential learning approach to the course. So, which means that you are doing a lot of activities and hands-on work to do skills practice to connect the theories and things that you're reading um, from our textbook and other resources and applying them to the classroom. So we um, do approach the curriculum of the course in kind of a flip design. So um, you uh, do your readings and your quizzes for the, um, the readings from the chapters um, in our uh, online platform through our textbook, uh, which is called Connect, and um, which really works great because you do a lot of the reading before you come to class each week. So that way you're ready to engage in hands-on experiential practice when you're in class, getting up and doing presentations or speaking in small groups um, as part of your experience in each class um, to prepare you for your presentations as well. And um, 
And, uh, you know, students have a lot of fun in this class. And so um, you come in sometimes really nervous and really scared about public speaking. Some of you will have experience doing that in different venues, maybe from high school or other settings. Um, but um, some of your classmates may be really nervous about doing this. And know that um, my teaching team is trained to help you through that. And our goal is to get you comfortable and feeling confident throughout the course of the semester. But it's a developmental process, right? And so the nice thing that happens in this course is that you might come in pretty fearful day one, but by day 15, you just feel like you're rocking it and you're confident and you get really great feedback throughout the course of this semester on each of your assignments. And, you know, really sticking with that overall same topic really lets you have a deep understanding of that issue. So when you go home for the holiday break or for summer break and you're talking to people about things that you're passionate about, you really are able to argue from a strong evidence-based perspective about that topic and not just your opinion, right? So you're able to kind of really support that to have a really grounded um, argument. Um, to support your ideas, and we think that that's really powerful. Um, and you get um, really close with your classmates in this class, you get close with your instructor, because you're really there championing each other and really supporting each other throughout the course of this semester. So um, you'll do um, an introductory kind of presentation that really helps you kind of get to know uh, your audience and help them get to know you, and then you'll get feedback on that. It's a pretty low stakes kind of assignment. And then you'll um, move into doing um, another presentation where you really kind of start deciding what that topic is that you want to focus on all semester. And um, then you'll do a presentation that really starts to connect you to thinking about visual displays and visually explaining um, the idea that's passionate to you. We kind of call this a visual metaphor speech where you kind of create a metaphor that visually explains your connection and your passion for the topic. And then we have you do a presentation that really focuses in on your research for your topic. And the nice part about this presentation is if you do it well, you kind of already have a lion's share of your research done for your final presentation, which is a, a persuasive advocacy speech, where in this this case, you're trying to persuade us to do something different related to our attitudes, values, or beliefs related to the topic that you've chosen for this semester. And um, then um, you'll, uh, do, as part of that assignment, you'll interview somebody who has been impacted by the topic that you're talking about. Um, <clears throat> and um, that's really exciting because you get to bring other voices that potentially are diverse from yours um, into the mix of your, your um, presentation. And then toward the end of the semester, we have you do an impromptu presentation to kind of get you um, ready to kind of adapt your um, message and your communication to different kinds of audiences. Um, and then we'll also have you um, go out and observe a, a live speech during the semester so you can critique that speech speaker as well. So um, it's a, it's an exciting class. It's such a pivotal class for so many other things you're going to do in your career here at Ohio University. Um, and uh, we love that we get to start your journey with you during most of you, your freshman year um, and really help you really become really confident in your presentational speaking skills. So that way you can take that into your other classes throughout your time here and then into your careers too. So um, I'm so excited about you joining us in the fall and being able to work with all of my fantastic instructors on my teaching team who uh, I wish I could take classes with them all the time. The ideas and the activities that they come up with all the time are just so inspiring and just so great. So I'm really excited for you for that. So and to tell you a little bit about myself in terms of my other um, uh, things that I do um, in the department. So my research areas are in intergroup communication, which really looks at how um, different identities are at work as we're communicating with each other and how the different groups that we're part of um, impact our communication with others. And I also study instructional communication, so how we use communication to be effective in the classroom. So part of my role as the Comms 1030 director is to train all of our um, uh, faculty and teaching assistants that teach in the Comms 1030 program. And um, <clears throat> then I also do some work with interpersonal and family communication. And more recently, I've been doing some more work specific to um, breastfeeding and infant feeding uh, communication practices. And I've also been studying math education um, and how the messages that we get from our parents and others kind of influence our efficacy for math education. So that's kind of a, a lion's share of some of the things that I've been doing. Um, <clears throat> uh, typically, I teach classes at the undergrad level in training and development and the capstone courses, amongst others as well. And then I teach in the, the grad program as well. Um, so you see a lot of uh, the, my teaching team during the year when you take this class, a little bit less of me, but I'm always there. You'll have information with my um, email and my office to come by and chat with me. So I wish you all the best during your time here at OU, and I hope that um, the rest of these sessions really give you a glimpse of um, how excited we are to have you here and can't wait to have you here on campus. So again, I'm Dr. Angela Hoshek in the School of Communication Studies.